I am going to go and unmute and say hello to our lovely players. <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> hello. Hello, <laughs> 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 Clearing our throats. Mm. No, I know. <laughs> it's so you can. <laughs> get it all. Get it, get it out. Fuck, oh dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Everyone's hey, good. Now we're good. It's out of our system. Hey. hey. What's up? Actual professionals over here. That's uh. <laughs> Me, 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 me. No, no, that wasn't like me professionally clearing my throat. That was me hacking and wheezing and coughing. Because <laughs> <'Cause> we're, <dying. laughs> we're all dying. Yeah, yeah, no, I get Yeah, because I'm dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're dying. Mm. We're all dying. Together. Uh, welcome, welcome to Pipe Dreamers, everyone. I'm very excited Ooh, to yes. be DMing this brand new game for you guys. I'm extremely thrilled. Dude. And uh, and yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm jazzed. I'm, I'm really I got my plunger. I got my wrench. Mm. Yo, I, I, I've been I've been drinking gamer juice, so I'm in the character. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go, man. Ready to go. Let's ready to go. go. I've Should got go like I've me. got my I've got my plumber's cap. Mm -hmm. got my mustache. I've got my smart got food white cheddar popcorn. This mm -hmm. is not. I've promoted. got my Nintendo cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, guys. It's you know they said it couldn't be done, but I decided the first ever <laughs> full plumber uh, D&D <laughs> yeah. &D game. That's right. You guys are going to be going oh house to house. <laughs> house to house, making sure yeah, all I'm playing, I'm playing a turtle a named Bowser. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was what was really fucked up about what Tomato's doing is he messaged me and he's like, I want to see how fast I can get you DMCA'd. Before the first session even begins, no. and I was, yeah, Tomato finds weird games in other people's oh, streams I like that. that he likes yeah, to that's do. Just a, that's a wacky, quirky thing to do. Yeah. That's a wacky thing he likes to do. He's like, I want to see how fast I shut down your stream, and then I give him a frowny <laughs> face, uh, and then he gives me a thumbs up, and then I don't hear from him from days, and I just sleepless nights. Yeah. My... Terrifying. Yeah, absolutely mm. terrified. Uh, chat, you'll notice that. I do not have anyone's uh, pictures up on the Discord reaction. And that's because you <laughs> haven't met them yet. And oh, no. you will actually, you will see them this this game. There will be Discord reactions. Okay. Oh, I thought fuck because, yeah, I thought dude. I thought it was because of me. I was going to be no, so- No, no, no. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry, Lol, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, what, no. did, what did Lol man do about? wrong? Lol, what did Lol man do? didn't I do did. he did the best that he could i did the best i could he did everything right you mean he did everything right uh no. yes no there mm. everyone's got a reaction page or a reaction image or whatever and we'll be seeing them as we introduce our lovely characters in the middle of the freaking story dude so you're, you're gonna get it i'm, I'm all you're gonna get all sorts of surprises on session one you think i'm just gonna show you everything i got you think I'm just gonna show you my hand? No, you gotta give it to him slowly. Piece. You gotta tease him. <laughs> piece by piece, yeah, exactly. Which is why every 15 minutes we will introduce a new character. So I hope you guys are ready for self I'm starting the clock. <laughs> Start yeah. that clock, ladies and gentlemen, we got- Starting that three clock, hang on. Let me, let me get it, all right. Yeah, Timer here. started, let's go. Here go. Tomato, you start first? Oh, all I right. just started, oh, it's ready. Yeah, it's, okay. it's ready to go. All right. No. All right, all right. But for reals, for reals, I'm just I'm make I'm making sure the caffeine sits in. What sucks about caffeine is I don't want to be tired. I want to be you know have a good energy, uh, mm -hmm. but it gives me violent anxiety. So it's a it's a nice little balance between trying to mm -hmm. stay awake and not having a panic attack live on Twitch. Dude, sometimes caffeine. <laughs> Uh, uh, gives me anxiety and tanks my energy. Yeah. How messed up is that, dude? Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I have to say, man, between the group, uh, this is probably the sixth time I've said this. I swear to God, not not sponsor. I'm just saying, I was recently trying gamer subs, and like, I only <laughs> like to have one cu cup of coffee a day in the morning. <laughs> But I'm trying this, dude. It's like caffeine free, but it's got like these natural energy inducing things. I'll give it. I, I've been awake, man. I've been awake. I've been awake. I, I, I wish. It feels I good, wish, man. You try it. I wish it's my rac I wish my raccoon could like look towards the screen right now as if I'm staring at chat. <laughs> I'm telling get, you, 
<laughs> kind of give it an oh brother over like in a, this direction. Like I mean, it's all, like putting that aside, I swear to God, it actually feels better than coffee. I, I will. I'm here, man. I will. I will try I'm, it. I'm down. I'm, I'm okay. Down. Cool. All right. All it's right. Your skin. So now that we've got that, use the code Lena Lazar. <laughs> 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 You know, it's really <laughs> funny how every time I DM Tomato, there's always one person oh, in his party sure. that wants to uh, sell something. You know, Crendor. It's with never me, though. <laughs> like, when is it going to be my time to <laughs> sell, like, my snake oil with, to the with, world? With, you know what I mean? Crendor, every time I stepped away, he would it advertise. By the way, uh, guys, Twitch Prime on Crendor. That's right. We're still... <laughs> keeping the bit alive even though Krender is not part of this group and uh yeah no it's all good it's all good all right it's time it's time to begin it's time man i love <clears throat> oh boy it's so nerve-wracking starting a DD game because i, I want to make sure we're doing it but we are gonna do it it's gonna be an it time can we die level one yeah oh absolutely are you kidding oh, me fuck yeah dude Hey, yeah, bro. I'm saying like I know it can. I'm saying, can you make it happen? Like, uh, yeah. Oh, I'll, I... <laughs> yeah. What was the question? I, I wish for away. death. Can you die at level one? And uh, <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. It's here's here's wow. my here's my problem as a DM is uh, instead of looking at my career and the D and D shows I do and try and tell a nice narration that lasts for a long time to time to go. Uh, if the party fucks up, or more importantly, if I fuck up. As a matter of pride, I go through with it and I just <laughs> murder. I just go, well, I guess everyone's dead and the campaign ended at session <laughs> one. <laughs> I just, because it is, it's like <laughs> pipe, uh, uh, freaking deadbeat session two. Jesse had like the worst roles and it was very, it was all so possible that their campaign was going to end <laughs> right no. there at session two. And I was like, a, a, again, as a matter of pride, as a matter of pride, I'm just like, if it, cause it chat was like, Oh, here comes the deus ex machina. And I'm like, Nope. <laughs> if it, if, if it happens, it happens. And if that's how it ends, then I feel like shit. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, you gotta make it feel that the, you gotta keep the stakes high. That's just, yeah, you can't cheat it. Can't cheat it. That's, that's that real D and D feel. That's that's the way I like to do it. It's not career wise. It's not a good choice, but uh, you know, I just I I like to I like to go for it. So, is everyone in Foundry? I think so. Yeah, we no. got eleven minutes yes, till the next character nope. reveal. Well, yeah. I'm, <laughs> the, 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 well, oh, tomato, tomato. This is my character reveal, which is why I'm you know doing the best that I can, talking about oh, nice. me and like all the games. That I'm I in do. now. I'm in. Wait. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, I'm in. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So, oh boy. Wait. Sweet. Yes. I'm not in, I'm not in. You're not I'm in. Not in. What's, what's the button? Um Oh my god, she's not in. Uh it's <laughs> launch game. Do you have the site? What's the Help. Uh, okay. Go okay. To, go go to the the chat and click the link. Oh. Okay. Okay. Not the oh, not there. the Wait. Yeah, not the okay. Forge? Okay, yeah, hold on. Forge. While 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 we figure that out, I'm gonna run a two minute ad on Twitch because it's coming up right now, and I I want us to have a nice nice padded actual session. So guys, it's gonna uh, cut into the timer. Good timing. Yeah, good yeah, timing. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll play a two minute ad. We'll be, we'll be right back, chat. We'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, oh, please don't. You're no oh, shit. We have another. Yo, perfect. I gotta pee. <laughs> yeah, go pee. You know what? You guys gotta pee. Get some water. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way now because I. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right go back. Pee, go pee, go you pee. Go pee, dude. Yeah, go pee. I feel like Everyone I should go, go pee, pee, too. You guys got a minute. Should, yeah. no, that's go fair. pee. Okay. Yeah, pee time. Woo, pee time. Yes? Hey, it's uh, great. Did I do everything oh, I needed to to set up Foundry? I, I'm in. I think hold, I'm hold, okay. Hold, hold on one second. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? Where? I said it's gray. The, the I, lo I logged into Brett. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. I was like, the fuck? fuck um i'm not calling you from the toilet i'm okay. trying to get in the game <laughs> okay 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 so i see that you are in the game uh you said it's, it's great just... try zooming you know what what if i did this did that help did that help anyone did that move you guys in that i want you me. is it supposed it to be really really laggy and slow because it looks really clear on your your end oh yes like... uh you, you gotta have your hardware acceleration on 
in your, on what your Google Chrome. What does oh. that even mean? Oh, Why hasn't anyone told me this? Yep, if, uh, if, Lena, you didn't have the hardware acceleration on <laughs> Bro, what bro. The, what does that mean? <laughs> bro, bro <laughs> didn't, Yeesh, what the geez, hell? didn't have the hardware acceleration? <laughs> okay. Didn't have the hardware. <laughs> so go to your Google settings. You're, I'm assuming you're using Chrome, correct? Yes. Web browser does not have hardware acceleration enabled. Okay, yes. Yes, uh, so you gotta you gotta enable it. So you go to settings, you go down to advanced. There should be like a systems tab. You click that systems tab. And you it's should settings. see use hardware acceleration when available. Has everyone done this? I'm on settings and I see like extensions on the left. My computer okay, just knows advanced. better than to fuck with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kind of- Nah, like, dude, mine, mine was machine. totally normal. Yeah, I Here, beat the it, shit out of my computer and everything. Oh, I got it. So, I got, got it. You got it? Nice. You got it? You good? Nice, nice, nice. Yes. You good? Okay. Yeah, let's see if it's yeah. It's quicker. just the session one. It's all good. It's just we're getting mm -hmm. shit set, set for session one. It's all good. Yeah, like nobody so even sorry. knows what character voices they're doing. We're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong. I mean, it's gonna. <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> you are wrong. wrong. I've woken oh, up God. <laughs> for the past three months with my character voice all ready to go. <laughs> you think I haven't thought of everything. <clears throat> I don't role play. I live. Um, I've been walking around doing my character's voice for two years. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you've ever heard me say oh in real God. life has been the voice I've that's, been preparing. That's been Whoa. my okay. character. You've Dude, been listening to my character. That so wacky. Yeah, that had yeah. to be a crazy character. You <laughs> <laughs> now, you, now you get to hear my real yeah. voice. <laughs> uh, Lena, are you good? I'm in. Acceleration mode activated. Awesome. Let's uh, go. Law, Lawman, you good? There was an issue with you, Lawman. You good now? Uh, no issue. I was just wondering if I saw my character on Foundry. Surely it's it's good to go. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone should. I'm, I'm gonna drag your tokens out as well, so it'll be good to go as well. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be fine and dandy. Fine and dandy. Yeah. All, right. All right. So, uh, session one. Everyone ready to go? Did everyone? <coughs> I'm looking around. Yeah. Uh, Okay, yeah. Shane, Shane's oh, good. I'm ready. No, everyone's good. Okay. Good. All right. So as mentioned in session zero, you guys all originate in the city of Clayberry, which is sort of like the the slummy part of uh, Kathos. This is where uh, industry, factories, capitalism, anything that you, it, is done to make the city flow, to make Kathos run, to make it operational, happens here. As a pull, as a uh, heavy fog uh, continues to stay in when it when it go comes to over uh, Clayberry, you hear the sound of industry, the sound of factories, uh, ports humming uh, from pretty much everywhere uh, in uh, Clayberry. You guys are kind of in more of the nicer part of Clayberry as well, which is still not as nice when it comes to the grand scheme of things. Our story takes place, or rather. Our story begins one fateful evening outside the old seaside tavern of the old kobold. All right. Loading up, loading up, loading up, loading up. All right. So it says, I, oh, you know what? You know what? I've, I messed what? up. I messed up. Give me one second. Back up, back up, don't tell anything. Back uh, up. Erase memory, erase memory. I gave you guys the ability to see, but I didn't give myself the ability to see what your tokens see, which means chat won't be able to see anything. Uh, so, <laughs> smiles, smiley face. Uh, Dude, I, draw, I drew stuff all over the map while you were yeah, blind. I swear to God. You were everywhere. Dude, you better not have. <laughs> Can't help it's it. my map now. It's my map. I, I wrote my name on it. It's my map. I wrote like one or two cusses. Only I, one or two. <laughs> I said it's my map, thus my map. All right. Uh, boop. Boop. I promise you I'm a professional. I'm a professional DM. This is all part of the course. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Oh, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. boop. You and... keep saying poop like that, I'm gonna think of that freaking uh, flump song. Oh no, that's a callback. That's a phase two callback right there. Wiggle, wiggle. All right, now. <clears throat> One fateful night at the old corporal. There it is. 
Yes. Look at this. Look at this. <clears throat> that clay berry and uh, atmosphere. So go ahead and get that clay berry atmosphere. You're inside a bar. And a little bit of that old kobold. Mmm. A little bit of that old kobold Ooh. rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. A quiet night at the old kobold. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, the, t the place run by... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'll break it down. Oh. So the old kobold <laughs> is a... Uh, is uh, one of the more popular taverns in Clayberry uh, by the sea. Because of that, uh, they brag about a wonderful seaside platter uh, they sell. Uh, it's not good, and Clayberry citizens know never, never to order the seaside platter. That's an old tourist trap, because it's uh, infamously bad. Meanwhile, you will notice uh, over on this side is a large shard screen. Think of it as a, like a like a modern day television of our time, where uh, old sports programs are typically played on, so people will go ahead and and check out and watch. Uh, and yeah, our, our story starts with two people who are already within the tavern themselves, and I'm going to point over at Lena. Lena, I'm putting you on the spot. Introduce yourself, like you as a person, and the character that you'll be playing. Well, me as the person is playing. We can loop around if you need. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, who are you? Like to those uh, that don't know who you are. I'm Lena and I'm playing. Hey, Toots, I'm Bo Art G, but you can call me Bork for short. Look at this. And you're playing a, a rack. Sorry, did you say Borg? Yes. Borg. <laughs> <laughs> That's my nickname. Yeah, I'm playing a rackling. Hell yeah. And uh <coughs> go and, Yeah. No, I mean, you go you could go as much as far as you want or as uh, limited as no, you want. No, that's it. That's it. That's all you got. That's all you get. Okay. What would you, you typically you What are you would you typically be doing in, in a tavern this late at night? <laughs> Just munching down. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. You'll see the barkeep immediately just put in the plate of food that you had requested, and just continues to to serve up the best they can. Uh, sitting next to you is Juniper. Juniper, why don't you introduce yourself and the character that you'll be playing? Uh, hello, my name is Juniper. I am a, a, a streamer, artist, a professional internet moth e girl. Uh, I am playing a character named uh, Felsic. She is. Yep, that's what you get. That's, that's what, what you, you get. get. Yeah, and watch what... session zero. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Just like pipe your chest. <laughs> yeah, do it. Uh, what would you typically be doing at the old kobold this late at night? Uh, Felsic is actually uh, like Loki celebrating tonight because mm. she just had another job application rejected when they looked at her criminal history. <laughs> uh, but it's okay because she like Loki didn't want to work anyways. Do you know? Uh, do you know what kind of position you were applying for? Uh, like a mover, like a pick up boxes like and just, move them just, kind just of position. A, just a working, yeah, just a basic working yeah, class. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she she has work experience working uh, in a port, like loading mm -hmm. onto boats uh, in the past. But uh, but she's she's been a little down on her luck lately. Gotcha. Uh, you, uh, I'm assuming, drinking, drinking some beer, drinking some clayberry. She ale. okay? Actually, you want to know what she's drinking? What's she drinking? She uh, she's drinking an IPA, uh, like the nastiest IPA in the in the bar, and she's yeah. like poured it into a glass, and she's put like a shot of vodka on top of it. Oh my god, the tab yeah, the tavern keep winces as uh, a second round has been ordered. 
the IPA has been placed <laughs> with a shot of uh, the cheap, just absolutely the cheapest vodka. It's the that, most degenerate thing anybody here has ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, it's as a, as a tavern keep, you don't judge someone based off what they're drinking. You just hope that they can stand on their own two feet and walk out once it's closing time. She also doesn't tip well. Yeah, so he, oh God, he, <laughs> he knows you and uh, not his favorite person. So yeah, just absolutely just slams the the IPA down, the cheap the cheap thing of, of vodka. You are assuming at this point in time he's probably been feeding you literally the bottom of the barrel vodka that's made north of Clayberry for like which is absolutely just the cheapest swill that could literally be used as like as like as like a, like engine degreaser essentially. It's like oh, one step Brett. away. It's one step away from that. Oh, Brett, that's her favorite. Yeah, <laughs> so that's as, as cheap as it could possibly go, and he continues over there. So you two are just hanging out. Uh, I'm assuming what, this is a typical evening for you two. Mm-hmm, probably. Uh, yeah. How, how, yeah. Would you, how do you both typically, uh, what's what's the typical interaction with you two while you're at the, uh, while you're, you're here at the tavern? No, oh, I'm I'm just like kind of eyeballing you, the corner of my eyes, while continuing to stuff my face and rub the grease all over my fur, <laughs> seeing what you're doing like... with that weird drink. Is your character like super talkative, Lena, or or is he more of like a just a little beast, little guy? A, a little bit of both. You gotta be, you gotta, okay. you know, pique my interest. No, yeah, Felsic, Felsic loves, uh, loves Bo or Borg because she can just talk at him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, you... <laughs> You know what? That's I think we're like, gonna get along, you and me. Is is is, is Borg male or female? Uh, I am indeed a dude. <laughs> okay, there it is. The reveal. It's I'm a dude. I love a dude. Yep. So you guys are just chit chatting, hanging out, eating, chatting. Yeah, my, yeah. my my food's kind of popping all over the place, and she's okay with it. A little smacks on her face, but she keeps talking. You keep getting yeah, yeah. <laughs> you keep getting served meat. <laughs> it is not described what kind of meat it is. It has simply been labeled meat, and it has a meaty-like texture with a meat-like flavor that you can't necessarily put a finger to. I'll eat it. <laughs> indeed, indeed, you will. Um, yeah, I think that shit's like bread, but like they soak it in something. <laughs> Don't care, go in my belly. Tavern Keep calls it clayberry meat, and that's as far as, and no one asks any questions. Bet no you that shit's sewer crocodile. Maybe. Maybe, oh, maybe. Boy. It is at that point, at the uh, south of the door, it is kicked in as a hardy pair of orcs walk in <laughs> and we will <laughs> and we will first start off lawman why don't you introduce yourself and the character that you'll be playing hi i'm lawman i uh stream at lawman uh, he, he streams! Woo! Woo! And my character's name uh, is Zug. He's a hardworking scrapyard orc who's uh, lived in Clayberry most of his life, if not all. Uh, he's traveled, but he was uh, he likes it here. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not the worst life. You know, you could you could be dead. You yeah. know, that's a bad life. That is a bad um, life. He works in the local scrapyards uh, with a lot of similar folks who pick up the refuse and, and you know, thrown away items of the larger and more wealthier people. Mm -hmm. um, he's not a large orc by any means you know usually when you think orc you think very strong and he's got he's got some guns on him but nothing compared to the uh the orc beside him oh and speaking of the orc beside him shane why don't you introduce yourself and the character that hi you'll be playing? i'm shane uh, i'm known for playing a bunch of sweet 
characters, a bunch of soft boys. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, Hell yeah. I'm Drask. Okay. Uh, the only thing I love more than punching is punching harder. Oh shit. Badass over here. <laughs> All right. Well, Zug and Drask walk in. And uh, as you two walk in, you see a bunch of familiar faces, uh, individuals that typically carry around over at the, uh, over here at the uh, bar. Two faces that you find extremely familiar are the two faces that are usually here every night. As Bo and, uh, and Felsic are currently sitting over here. I try to like wave and give a big thumbs up because I'm in a good mood today. I'm in a really hey, good mood. Hey, what's up? You, this, this smile that he's got on is not even his full smile. I'm talking, it, he's really <laughs> happy coming into this bar right now. Yeah, yeah. hello. <laughs> I like put Holy one of my shit. paws in the air with like a, a drumstick, but it's all like sopping wet. So it kind of like falls to the top of the bar and I, I like scoop it up with my little tiny paws and like, hey. Uh. And then once I, I, you know, give him the, the hello, I start to scan the room, Brett. Well, uh -huh. I'm well, looking for somebody here. So you see uh, everyone in here is a familiar face that you've had drinks with at one point in time. So you're looking for the individual that stands out. It isn't until you see said individual in the farthest corner of the bar. As this sort of brooding edgelord of a man sits there looking around slightly apprehensively, making sure that he was left alone, away from the rest of the crowd. That must be your guy. <laughs> you ready, Dresk? Yes. Let's go! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, make sure that when you have your, yeah, there you go. There's a uh, token selection that you move, can move around there. I did find out uh, my push to like mute uh moves my character left so i might accidentally be moving left a lot <laughs> epic epic you're just like left strong and you're just kind of like yeah. leading over <laughs> um everyone kind of gives the two works nods i mean everyone in clayberry kind of keeps to themselves and realizes no one chooses to be in clayberry they i go for a low five with green hair as i pass <laughs> uh she, she she gives a slap <laughs> Tomato. Oh, I'm, I'm teeming with excitement. <laughs> Tomato, the uh, two orcs you were hoping to make contact with seem to be approaching your table, all according to plan. <laughs> oh my Those God. two would notice as they approach the corner that my character has been staring daggers into them as they loudly kick open the tavern door and high five <laughs> everyone <laughs> in the whole bar. <laughs> <laughs> Tomato. As he tries to sit discreetly in the corner. Tomato, why don't you introduce yourself in the character that you'll be playing? Hey everyone, I'm Tomato. I'm playing a character named Talon, a Xeon Corporation contractor, a little in over his head. <laughs> oh my <laughs> I'm trying god. Trying to get off world by well, any means necessary. All right. As the orcs approach, okay. yeah, you just kind of uh, immediately just see as uh, Talon is just staring dagger eyes over at uh, at the two orcs currently. I scoot the the chair out, spin it around, and sit down on like a cool counselor at a school. By the way, when you select your token. Like hold your token down and if you after you select your token with the left press and if you hold your shift key and when you release you can place yourself oh. off Ooh. grid wait how do i really yeah. i don't know See, if this works out when i get there hmm. yeah what was it again uh so first you have to select so make sure that you have the uh the, the select tokens button pressed okay. and then uh when you press left like left press your token as if you're gonna move it. Okay. 
And then when you start moving it around, that's when you hold down the shift key. Oh, and yeah. then, so after you start and then, and then, and then you release the click with shift key in there and it allows yeah. you to move. Yes. Immediately, you see these two dancing around the tavern. <laughs> too much alcohol, <laughs> too much meat. Kiss me, toots. <laughs> Kiss me. Hey. <laughs> hey, toots. Hey. I, fuck, I still don't know how this works. It's okay. Uh, it, yeah, I'll it's, figure it's, it out later. It's, 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 a, it's a weird combination of keys. <laughs> it just, it's, that's not super easy, so. <laughs> the tavern key looks at Poe. <laughs> hey, uh... <laughs> You, you mind you getting? At? You mind getting off the bar? Oh, I got a little excited. See, I'm a little bit tiny, so I fit in places like the top of this bar. I'll get off. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I you sit. know, you I know, sit. you know what? Let me actually have something that I want to do about that. <laughs> okay, here I go. Oh no. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's. Oh, right. I love it. Wait, what did you just do? <gasps> I'm little. little. One second. Am I smaller? Yes, yes you are. are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I could put I love you it. on my head. <laughs> okay, you thought. <laughs> can you please stop dancing on the customers? Uh, can some uh, pick me up? I can't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. there. I got you, Bo. Hey, hey, Bo. Bo. Are those guys fucking ditching us? I thought I don't know. Oh no! Who the hell are they talking to? That guy looks fucking corpo. Thoughts, I'm trying to listen. Do you I slowly can... do you slowly approach them? Yeah, let's fuck. Let's sneak. <laughs> I'm gonna let's... sneak. All right. Don't let them see us, okay? I'm gonna creep. It's it's I'm time gonna... it's time for some checks. So we'll start with uh, Lena. Lena, select your token. Do you see yeah. a hot bar that appears? Might be in the upper left-hand corner for you. I see like save skills features. And yeah, 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 yeah. So select your token, and then okay. press the skills button, or actually yeah. mouse over the skills button. And as you scroll down, you should see a skill called stealth. Press that stealth yep, button. Yep, got and it. It'll, it'll roll stealth for you. As you begin to do a oh, and if you select your token and press F, you can flip your token, do a little dance. Oh. Oh, I'm dancing, I'm dancing! Hey, you see me, thoughts? Uh, and then, uh, Felsic, do the same, feel free to do the same thing. Select yeah, your token, yeah. upper left corner, and, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Ooh. So, <laughs> I mean, so, uh, the first thing you do is, like, you lean down to be like, let's see what's going on. And as you turn, you immediately knock over the IPA and the vodka <laughs> as it spills all over the bar. The butt keeps like, <laughs> it's just like, Felsic! <laughs> like screaming out loud that everyone can hear as the tavern yeah, erupts yeah, I... in a h h hilarious laughter. Needless to say, people know that. No, you're no, no, I'll deal with it later. Yeah. I start like licking up the IPA off the ground, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you don't God, have, you are so disgusting. You don't have to do I can clean it up. Uh and then Bo, go ahead and do a uh, stealth check of your own. Do I click normal? Yes. Is that the button I click? Yeah, normal. Okay. Uh not much better. As you kind of then begin to uh as you're about to hop off the stool to see what's going on, your nose perks up as the IPA spills all over the bar. And then you begin to lap it up a little loud, <laughs> and, and, and that's and that's again the tavern keep being like Bo. <laughs> hey. <laughs> again, hilarious laughter as the orcs and the corpo man can literally hear this over in the direction. <laughs> So I'm definitely hearing it and I'm picking it up, but I my eyes are now that I'm at the table, my, you know, I'm like slapping my little hands on the table and I'm just <laughs> looking dead at the guy. I'm just, so you got it? <laughs> Alan's looking you up and down, absolutely baffled at what he sees. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's wild because I told you to come alone oh. and be discreet. We are alone. I mean, we. There's no one else with us. That includes you, jackass. What? He goes nowhere without me. This is my brother. Right. So. You are the guy, right? I'm the guy. 
All right. Wait, are you the guy? And he like scratches his chin. I'm the guy. Excellent. <laughs> so you're looking for a propulsion shard, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you have half the money up front right now? Um, I can get it. All right, let me be clear, because it seems like somehow there's been some kind of mix up. A propulsion shard, a normal one, goes for about 10,000 credits. All right. An off market prototype, like the one I'm offering you, without any kind of serial number on it, goes for about 14,000 credits. So it's going to be about 7,000 credits up front now. And the other 7,000, once I take you to the shard, obviously I wouldn't carry it on me. Uh -huh. <laughs> now it also makes sense. You wouldn't carry that much money on you. So if you have to go get it, you know, I can wait here and we can go get it, but we have to move quickly. I really don't have all day. Uh, sidebar. I, I, I grabbed Drask. I'm <laughs> sorry. That's so expensive. I know. I think I have a plan. We could cut some of this off, though. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I, I have something that might interest him, maybe. All right. <clears throat> How much do you think uh, this should cut off? It's hard to get. Uh, Drask pulls out of his pouch a, a metal leg. I just what? got this. Is that a leg made out of scrap metal? Yeah, there's parts in it. There's who knows what's inside. That's good stuff. Talon's going to look around the bar and probably clock at least two or three people in this shithole town that also just have scrap metal legs because they're probably dime a dozen. Yep. And look back and just kind of start twitching in one eye. <laughs> So, um, I feel like I made it really clear that, uh, this was kind of a non-negotiable deal. We weren't going to be pulling any bullshit. And I feel like you made it pretty clear to me, or so I thought that you were a professional. Are you trying to dick me around right now? No, I no. am a professional. I have a shop. You wouldn't try to dick me, would you? I would not try to dick you, sir. Behold! And I pull, I reach into my, like, this large pouch of just, you can see, like, gears and bolts just falling out of it as he reaches into it. Just and I pull out this. just echoes throughout the tavern. <laughs> it looks like a, a spinning top, right? Um, and he sits on the table, and there's, like, a cog that's loose on it, and he just kind of pushes that in and takes out a little hammer and ding, 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 and slaps it together. And then he spins this spinning top. And then it shines a five foot light. Talon well, stands up. <laughs> Talon, Talon stands up. You'll see one of his arms kind of twitch a little bit and he'll just like start walking towards the exit, <laughs> shaking. Wait, I have more. I I think we're, I think we're no, done. No, I have so here. much more, please. We'll pay this extra. Is, this is embarrassing. This is awful. We'll pay you double. You'll pay me 28,000 credits. I mean, we won't be anywhere else. We'll be here. You can yeah. always find us. Yeah. And you'll we pay just, me we that? need this. I'm not sure you know what, ju what you just did. You, you just offered to pay me double of something you already don't have. <laughs> if we get this, we can make it easy. Uh, Bo and Felsic, you hear this <laughs> loud screaming in the tavern as this corporal man starts storming out. My ears are like twitching a little bit while I'm listening and still eating. God, those meatheads. We're not gonna get another chance. Damn, Come on! Damn, damn it! <laughs> Can I? Is like, what? What are the options I at this point? Like, Can I, I tumble through those or... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta pause for a second. I gotta pause for a second. What? Are, I mean, the options, the options are literally whatever the fuck you want to do at this point. 
That's I wanna, the, can I, yeah. what happens if I want to like, I want to like roll and like stop and like see if I can like latch onto the, his ankles to make him just <laughs> wait like one more moment. Okay, that's, that's down. So as, uh, <laughs> as everyone starts charging, uh, you'll see Bo just tumble right in front. And then I need you um, to make an athletics check. Bo, where are you going? Are you just tumbling around this? Testing, <laughs> testing the wall. I was testing it. I was tumbling. So no. you, t- yeah, you immediately tumble over here. I need you to make an athletics check, please. Okay, and then, a- uh, and, and then Talon, I need you to make an athletics or acrobatics check as this rackling <laughs> starts tumbling into a ball over to you to grab your leg. It's like randomly trying to get me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. Wait a second. I'm like rolling and shit. I rolled a five. What does that mean? Well, not uh, I, I need talent to uh, uh, yeah, uh, athletics. Yep. Public roll normal. <gasps> Woo! That's a nat. Ooh. One day we'll get a double digit. So as what? you begin to walk, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say talent literally trips over Bo <laughs> right there. Just immediately, just like, huh, and then and then Bo just wraps around <laughs> his legs at this point. What the hell is this? <laughs> I start like sniffing. <laughs> Talon. Kind of like latched his ankles. <laughs> After stumbling through the Talon barrels. starts reaching for his dagger. I mean, like, this is wild. <laughs> Zug, Zug stands over, <laughs> just hands on hips and, you know, like a superhero pose and just goes, I will work for it, please. Do not leave. Get I don't know how to move. Oh, there we go. Thing. <laughs> Get this thing <gasps> off of me. Bo, bo, and uh, like, can I? Sorry, sir. I dust you off a bit. Um, <laughs> it's okay, and I'll help him to his feet. At this point, Zug, as you get Bo off of Talon, you notice a light red glow coming from his chest. Hmm. Like, is it magical, mechanical? It, it's just a red natural? light. There's just a okay. red light glowing from his chest. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, as, I'm, as I'm helping him up and dusting off like his, his, you know, clothes and stuff, I'll just look at it and then just poke it. Literally just poke. <laughs> Talon, uh, you literally see Zug just poke you in the chest. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Are you enhanced, buddy? And Talon, that is when you notice the red glow in your chest. Fuck. He, he covers hey, bud, his chest cool. immediately. <laughs> How much is that worth? And then as you cover it up, you then hear... And then Talon explodes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, I okay. Zug stands there with this same smile, but blood splattered on his face. No, no, no. Did you, did you do that? I, no, no. I want to be absolutely clear. What I say explodes, as in a fiery explosion erupts. Oh my god! From Talon. What? Are we all dead? <laughs> End of the show. It's my pleasure, everyone. <laughs> it really has. <laughs> That's my play, baby. All right. So before the explosion goes off, I need the following to happen. I need everyone to select their token and to okay. roll a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> uh, Talon, you will be rolling at a disadvantage. <laughs> Ooh. Dang, dude. Shit. The- my rolls, god damn. <laughs> Celsic, Celsic, I'm gonna be a like a one. <laughs> All right. It turns out it's hard to dodge a bomb in your chest. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you start a campaign, baby. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some rolls real quick as the bar is on fire. 
All right, so let me just go ahead and do a thing over here. And ba ba ba. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, there are going to be uh, some tokens here, some tokens not here, uh, as I will then be showing off some tokens. Uh, Okie dokie. So for those that are curious what everything looks like now, I'm just going to go over here. No one move yet. And yeah, uh, you are now surrounded by the fiery burning wreckage of the old kobold as the man you were recently doing some dealings with uh, seems to have exploded blowing everyone back and scattered all around the old kobold. So, uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Have so, I left again without moving? Uh-huh. Uh, so I, uh, I I had a pause because I have to roll some damage for everyone. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. All you right, guys so. want to die at level one. <laughs> All right, so uh, I am happy to announce Bo. You have 10 hit points currently. Wait, out of, out of what? No, you're 10, oh, 10 total. That's how many hit points you have. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, you take, because you succeeded the deck save, you managed to tumble out just in time. You managed to take one point of damage as you go flying back uh, to some rubble that is currently within the bar itself. Uh, Wait, that's what I, what I do. And then since we see Zug here, we don't know where everyone else is currently because it's safe to assume people are now hidden underneath the uh, the wreckage of the exploded tavern. Uh, Zug, you're good. Okay, so you will only take, what, what are we doing here? What are you, Artificer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't realize Artificers get a D10, that's sick. Whoo! Uh, Zug, you will be taking four points of damage. Stop! Uh. Now, Oof. Mr. Brett. Yes. I'd like to plead the case to you here that yes. this was something that happened. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, would you say that after something that happens, there could be a reaction? Uh, depends on how you're reacting. I would like to use absorb elements to oh. absorb some of Does this. Does that work if it's a surprise, like a bomb fire. in someone's <laughs> chest? I mean, that sounds every like a surprise attack of some kind. <laughs> wouldn't you agree, Brett? I, I, I will state it does not specifically state that you cannot use absorb elements if you are surprised. So yes, you can use the absorb elements. Get owned. Get owned, tomato. You get owned. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then I get uh, <laughs> uh, bu -bu -bu resistance to the triggering damage type until the start of my next turn. All right. So instead, you will only take two points of damage. <clears throat> also, it's safe to say you are only level one. <laughs> and I just exploded something right in front of you because it was funny. All right. <laughs> so. It was pretty funny. As you guys, as you two come into consciousness, Zug and Bo, you awaken to see yourself surrounded in the ruins of what you can only assume is the old kobold. You all watched a bomb go off a man's chest as the old kobold is collapsed in. As you look around, you will actually see the bodies of dead patrons <gasps> in the old kobold. Uh, uh, brother, brother. How how do I like look left and right again without moving my character? I'm like uh, crawling on hands and knees. Uh, by pressing the F key while you have your token selected. Also, don't mind as I pause the game as as stuff is happening. So. Okay, Bo like looks around, and then curls into like a really big ball, <laughs> and starts rolling around to see if there's any like coins laying around from the you know. Dead oh, patrons. Oh my God. Okay, sounds good. Begins taking the uh, <laughs> taking the credits from whoever doesn't need the dead at that point. Oh, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. 
Um, so as you begin rolling around, trying to gather as much as much currency as you can around the area, um, Zug, you run over to see an unconscious. Well, not unconscious. He's well. Actually, we're gonna find out here. Sick. Drask, you, you failed the you failed the save. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you will be taking. Hmm. Uh, I'm assuming you are. Yep. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, Jesus. Drask Ooh. takes a. Drask takes 12 points of damage from the explosion. Owned. Fucking hey. hell. We I've got the highest fucking kill ratio of anyone in PvP. <laughs> Tomato! <laughs> <laughs> can I... It, it, can I, like... Do I have to roll every time I move, or can I, like, move? I, I don't exactly know how this works. Oh, no, you just, you like, just, you you just move. move around. You just move around. Okay. If you go, you're like if you go too far... Yeah, as, as if you go too far, I'll let you know. Um, I'll, like, give it pause while, while these things are happening. But, yeah, as you're rolling around, uh, you see Drask bloodied and beaten as he comes back to consciousness. <laughs> what the hell did you do, Zug? I, it wasn't me this time. Oh my god. Damn it. Uh, you look over at his right hand and it, you'll see it's just completely made of metal. Three of my fingers aren't working. You think you can fix this? We gotta get out of here, but yes. Yeah. Bo is like... Try to help him up. Uh, while you're trying to help him up, Bo is like sitting on his chest, kind of looking at him, checking him out, sniffing. I'm bleeding a lot there, please. You okay, boss? Yes, get the hell off. How do I rotate my character to get up? Uh, select your token and then just, uh, you can shift, uh, hold shift and then use your mouse wheel to boop, boop. Ooh. Get back up. <coughs> we need to see if anyone's alive. All right, I'll keep looking. You, uh, you look for a way out of here. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm still like rolling uh, around, getting yeah, coins and stuff. Yeah, you're <laughs> just collecting like old pieces of meat, credits that have been scrambled from the there. I uh, guess I look this way first. Yeah. Uh, Drask, as you walk over to what appears to be the front of the bar, you immediately see the, uh, it, over here, the dead body of the tavern keep. Damn it. And an unconscious Felsic, who has hit her head upon this rock. Felsic, you... Oh, yeah, you're good. You have succeeded. Oh, yeah. Did already saving throw. I'm clean. Hell, yeah. Rolling your damage, you have taken three points of damage, which is reduced down to one point of damage. <laughs> Fuck. Hello? Dr Dress, can you move your toes? Yeah, sorry. I'm probably missing a few. Sorry? <laughs> Don't yeah. fucking apologize. I need to find, uh, fuck, uh, okay, that he's dead. Uh, you're definitely dead. Uh, she's gonna try to find somebody to stabilize. Yeah, as you begin to look around, it seems that no one no, like all the bodies that you're finding underneath the rubble are crushed. Uh, I'm gonna yell oh. then. Is anybody alive? You hear what appears to be the sound of gurgling over to the south. My ears like perk up really straight up in the air and they start like twitching violently. And that is where you see the body the body of the corpo man that you were dealing with. His gory remains just slathered all over the floor underneath your foot. His overcoat what? dusted and dirtied. All that remains. Drask, what do you do? I'm gonna sift through it. See if I see anything as you sift through the gory viscera reacts as a bloodied hand grabs your wrist what in the fuck is this 
tomato? I cannot see. Well, now you are going to be able to. Okay. As your token will come onto the field. So. Oh, hold on. Ah, ha ha ha. Ah ha ha. Give me one second. My apologies, I'm still learning the application. Lol. You all good, man? Bo's just like standing there on his tippy toes, kind of just sniffing around, looking at this big gurgle mess. <laughs> Swishing his tail. I'm just kind of like having a good time. He's having yeah, a man. fun evening, right, little guy? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not. Tomato. <laughs> Once again, as you reanimate, would you like to introduce your character? You will see out of the Ugh. coat that you were rummaging around as this almost flubber-like being erupts out of it and some eyes form. It almost forms a sort of body and then falls back into a big pile of goo. And then all of the eyes focus on your face. And then a small pseudopod comes out from between the eyes and erupts directly into your nose. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck are you? <laughs> what are you? Oh, no. Um. React, man. <laughs> I mean, I would try to resist it any way I can. Whether I don't know if I have to make a check though when this happens. Uh, you just, it, it literally is just a, a tendrils going into your nose at this point. Do you try and, and grab it? Do you try it and, and like, I try to grab it, it with my working hand. Uh, tomato, would you like a opposing check to try and slap your, your tendril away or does it just happen? I'm going, to, I'm going to opposing check athletics. All right. Uh, athletics from the two of you, please. I rolled a 17. Oh. Oh no. Is there an initiative order? Uh, 22. not yet. Not yet, okay. Yeah, if, if things get aggressive, it does. Uh, yeah, right. Jurassic just grabs the the, 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 the the tendril trying to get up his nostril. And you just, yeah, you just slap it away at that point. Zodan here now! <laughs> it's gonna get sort of flopped away, and he's gonna roll a little bit and like slide along the ground. And then look back around, kind of calm down a little bit more. And keep focusing on what you just said for another second and just sort of stare at you, almost like a wild, confused animal. Can I like do some sort of trick to like put my, my like, I just like, I want to reach out and look up and like, just put my finger in it. To so, like, to like, well, you'd have to walk. So you walk over and you, uh, yeah. So you just, you're just like poking a finger in it. Uh, try and uh, move up, so because your your token's blending in with them. There you go. Um, so yeah, you just reach out with your your paw and you just kind of begin to stick it. Tomato, uh, does your character oppose this? Or he goes for their nose again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, goes so, my nose. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 opposing <laughs> athletics, please. What if I don't want to oppose it? What if I'm like, yeah, baby? Like, what oh, if I well, then, know you just, what then, then you can choose to fail, and it just this happens. Yeah. Can I? Do I have to roll? Can I just choose to fail? You can just choose to fail. You don't have to roll anything. It just happens. Yeah. I live on the edge. Uh, uh, I, I want to <laughs> accept it. Uh, what do you do? So, yeah, what does the character do, Tomato? You sort of, you feel an extremely strange sensation as this sort of being enters your head and almost, like, reaches your brain and just sort of cursory scans it almost and then retracts back to normal and then looks at the two of you and just goes golly it's really hot in here <laughs> uh <-huh. Okay. laughs> what did he just do to you <laughs> is all you hear for like a few moments <laughs> I, don't, I don't say anything it just um, sounds while that is happening, um, uh, hold on one second. Taking a little peeky poo. 
Uh, Felsic, what are you doing? Yep. Uh, I guess she's gonna, uh, sneak very unsubtly towards them. Yep. <laughs> like, basically poised to play dead like a possum if he looks at her. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're just, like, crawling around? Okay. And Zug, what yeah, are you doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zug sees the bloodied limb of green hair. <laughs> oh, oh damn it. Oh, and under, out. Under the rubble. And it's just sitting there, st er, standing up, rather, just looking down in just horror and just, like, mouth open, just looking at this dead person that they just high-fived. Okay. Anything else That's you do? Is that it? Not yet. Just, okay. th just this for now. Just, you know, in trauma for now. Okay. It's <laughs> just, you know, trauma, lol. Hi. Where am I? He asks. Uh, it asks uh, to both Old Cobalt, home of the best sushi platter on Io. Wow. This place looks you, nice. Uh, you missed it, though. Oh. I, like, plop onto my my butt and I stick my feet out in the air and I kind of just look up, up at him and, like, stare. Just looking for a while, quietly. Can I make a check to see if I realize, if Drask realizes that this thing was, like, in him or not? I mean, it, 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 never got in, it never got into you. you. You were able to bat it away. Well, like, no, if this was in the the body of the thing, if, like, my brain worked oh, I enough see, oh, to realize oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, you can make an intelligence check. Okay. Or an investigation check. Ooh, 20. You, you recognize that the cloak that this creature seems to be wearing, although very much dirtied and muddied from the refuse and, ex and explosion that happened within the tavern, was the same cloak of the man that you were de dealing business with. What the fuck are you? Zug! Here! Is this the whole world? Just this place? And he's gonna start moving around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zug, hearing his brother, will snap out of it and realize the heat is growing stronger and, and start making his way that way. Hot. Uh, hurt. Hot. We gotta get out of here. What the hell? <laughs> this is the damn thing that blew this place up. You bastard. He doesn't quite understand well. Hi. I was born two minutes and 32 seconds ago. I, I... What the hell is that thing? Hey, you toots? How's it going? And I like, I pop back up on my two feet and I like squish my tail and I look up, up at him and I make a little like grab you hands. Hey, uh, guy, uh, dude, um, fuck, what do I, what do I call you? What? What's what? the name, toots? What is a name? Yeah, sure. Okay, fine. Uh, are you familiar at all with the concept of death, my guy? What is death? Okay, all right. It, that's... It's getting hard to breathe. We need to leave. <laughs> I gotta go. I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna make hey. up a name for that green hair lady now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha's dead. We have to go. Wouldn't it be fucked up if I just said that you made up her name and that wasn't actually her name? <laughs> it would be fucked up because you no, gave no. me nothing. Yeah, yeah, no, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, her name was Samantha. She likes to give high fives and sometimes low fives. Only low fives when I'm really happy. I stumble out of the, is this a door? Is this a window? Uh, it, it is a broken window that you can walk through if you'd like. As the fog itself, if the fog itself has become a dense smoke as you leave the wreckage and the ruins of the old kobold. 
I use my head like a battering ram and break any other, you know, shards of glass so they don't cut my skin. And I just... <clears throat> you destroy the rest of the frame as you just tear it through. This way, come on! I'm going to look at this slime thing in front of me, point to the broken window and say, Go there now! Okay, friend. And they're going to start moving. How does I'll the creature them. move? <laughs> it is... It's almost like it's a liquid, but like it's also a solid and rolling. Does that like make sense? Like oh, it's yeah, half, so like the bottom of it, it looks like a solid sometimes and then is also totally liquid. It's weird. It's like a goo that's constantly coagulating on like, like back to solid on the surface. Oh my gosh. Okay. I didn't know that you literally can't move your token through the walls, but I would like That's to actually so cool. bust through uh, this window. Oh, uh, hold on. I apologize. Uh, give me one second. I thought I left that open. Uh, yes, you cannot move your token through walls. So instead, I will That's make it cool. so that you can... So you, so what you're saying, you break through the, the, the area? Mm -hmm. You should now be able to move, move through it. Come on! Not you! Okay. No, keep him out here. We need come back. It was a pleasure meeting you. Slow what just happened? Come here now. All right. Not us. Okay. You said that should thing we, comes well, out. Hold, hold on. Should we be taking this thing like out? That's exactly why should... we need to keep it. We need to find out what the hell it is or kill it. Shouldn't we like call the police or something? Hey, Totsis, I... you guys know he's right here. here. He's literally right here. Hey, hey, my guy, you can yeah. hear, right? <coughs> you can what? hear? Hey, dude, you hear us, dude? Answer for your crimes! I'm here. We also were supposed to be here? We're supposed to be inside? What's happening right now? I'm like mildly mean? confused. Why? Oh, like your character's confused? Yeah, I don't, just because like, wait, were we supposed to be outside? You, wait, you said come outside. Yeah, now, now you're outside. <laughs> what is happening then, with you? What's going on? Listen, I'm just a little confused, out of character. okay? There was, there was a bomb, and there's like stuff in my eyes I can't see, okay? Did I know the name of the uh, the guy that I was meeting at all? Like, what what did I know when I was setting up this deal? He what? would have given you the name Talon. Okay. What the hell is this, Talon? Is, and it, it's going to look around at all of you for a second to try to see who you're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> like waiting for one of you to like speak up. <laughs> My fingers literally like pointed at you and then he looks confused that you're confused and is like, well, uh, my head hurts. Who is Talon? Talon is you, but not you. But you, but with skin, but not, not jelly under the skin. You were not, you were not you. You are now liar. Answer Golly. for your crimes. I'm going to punch him in the gut. Boom. You're going <laughs> to bounce off of him. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't like a, a full, like a <laughs> right, right, just right, like. Right. <clears throat> Are you speaking hey. of my predecessor? Oh. Can, can I like scurry up his coat and like sit on his shoulders and like inspect more of his eyeballs and stuff like that to see what's going on here? Like a closer look at what's happening because I can't really see from down here. Uh, Tomato, do you allow it? Yeah, but the whole time, as you get closer, you're going to see that pseudopod that went up your nose, like, sort of track your nose again the whole time. Okay. Yep. I like and scurry up there. <laughs> I'm now on his shoulders, kind of looking around. Is this normal? Hey, uh, I'm just trying to check you out here. What's More going on? More normal than you. Guys, uh, I kind of have an issue here. This this guy, he seems a little clueless. I really don't think he know what he did. 
Uh, the cops are gonna be here like any minute. I think yeah, I'd we rather need to not just clear out. I was born five minutes and 48 seconds ago. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, buddy. You wanna go out of Red Robin? I'll get you a fucking Sunday or some shit. I don't know go. what that means. <laughs> Can I like reach in my bag? I want I want to see like he may have just been born and I'm the whole time all Bo is trying to do is like kind of not push his buttons, but figure out what the sky is on his own terms. Okay. So I want to like, can I reach inside my bag, grab some sort of like food and like kind of put it in wherever I think his mouth hole is? Uh, yeah, absolutely. It uh, is the worst feeling ever to just push something into his like basically skin and it just slowly like pulls your hand in for a second. This just gross, awful feeling of like moistness and then the food just disappears and your arm just gets pushed out and just sits and just stands like stares at you doesn't even make a sound okay thanks I like uh mm -hmm. like sniffs his hand ah so is this what you all do is this what is this you life? do tavern is this what you do you blow up taverns are you speaking of my predecessor? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who's Talon? Am I speaking of your predecessor? Okay, there seems to be some kind of feedback loop <laughs> he just here. Looks uh, at we you. gotta go, man. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> get, we gotta get the hell out of here. Somewhere. Let's move. I'm going. Oh, where do okay, you guys? Okay, bye. Slime, follow. <laughs> All right. Let's... Let's go. I'm just leaving this area as much as, as I can. Yeah, as you begin to walk out, uh, the embers and smoke seems to fill the area. You walk ar out around over to the shard. Uh, you can walk over here if you'd like to head over to like more oh, like the, the north, junkier a... area. That's not a wall, no. That's like oh, is that a, like a like rafter? Overhang. Yeah, it's a rafter. Yeah. Okay. As you walk into like the, the like the the trashier part of the uh, of the back, you know the actual like scrap like a scrap area uh, that is within the it as the embers and smoke continues to fill the area, you at least have a moment to breathe. Hey, buddy. Uh, do you know uh, how you got inside that guy, Talon, your predecessor? Probably through the nose. If Talon was my predecessor, then I did not get in him. If that's Talon was what you mean. What predisposed to become you? So to speak. Okay, uh, my IQ isn't high enough for this conversation. Uh, do you want like some food? Because I got I got like a little bit here. Sure. We're just gonna feed him now. I like food. Listen, this guy doesn't fucking know what he did. He's like a the alien baby. I was I born food. eight minutes and 24 seconds ago. He's kind of cute. Look at him. Look at his eyes. Look into Night. them. <laughs> I see I a soul seen... there. <laughs> We've seen wacky kind of, I mean, creatures before. Have I ever seen anything like this, Brett? You have never seen anything like this. Have I met with... I, I assume so. I've met with people of, like, Xeon Corporation before, too, right? Uh... <laughs> One moment, please. Please, hey, you know, like, like, lobby music. Um, you probably would have dealt with some lower employees of Xeon Corporation who had specifically been trying to sell things to make a quick buck, you know. There are definitely lower tier ones that yeah, some 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 little arsony, little little thievery to earn some quick credits. Um, typically, it's been done with more of the basic parts. This part that was offered to you, of course, was very high end and high tier, which means this you know, which means Talon must have stumbled onto a, a fortune. It must have been very fortunate, or Talon was a, a higher up and was able to get the access to that. But I will say that this trade was especially suspicious, as I'd mentioned before. You typically deal with lower tier employees that need extra credits. Anyone who would have access to propulsion shard 
is probably a higher tier employee. Which they're means already they're, well off. Yeah, their salary is not requiring them to sell, you know, to, to steal and sell right. and risk their job. So something about it probably felt off to be getting, but because of the opportunity, you're like, eh, don't ask any questions. But now maybe you should have. Hope that answers um, your question. Yes, yes, yes. I just don't know what to do with him. I, I th uh, do you think somewhere in that slime brain, he still knows where that propulsion thingy is? Is this my home now? D your home is with us now. Okay. So, Bo is like... Samantha! Bo is yeah. just living his life and really excited to like almost like a uh like treating him like a puppy trying to see what he can and can't do but like also really excited to impress him because he's easy to impress um I, am i allowed to say what i do and don't have for my my druid abilities because i want to use one of them yeah, yeah uh, you're you're free to do whatever you want you have the freedom to do your thing what would you okay, like to so do okay so I forgot what it was called, mind you, new player here, but All there's good. that one um, ability that I picked yes. uh, at level one where I can just like like make a like something really tiny and insignificant. It's like where I can make like a flower bloom or like a little like something just Druid where crap? I think it's really cool. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What? I I, I what? Can you explain to me a little bit like what is around us? Because I, I I'm I'm gonna formulate <laughs> something here. You got uh dirt mud old tile scraps of junk you're oh, literally yeah. in like a like a, a a mini a mini junk junkyard behind the old the old kobold okay so i use my what is the ability called again druid crap okay now correct me if i if i do this wrong at any point no, uh, i use my druid craft ability to get like a little bit of trash to like make a stick figure stand up and i'm like and i, and I look at Talon, I'm like, hey, hey, thoughts, 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 check, check, check this out, check this out, check this out, hey, 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 check this out. You begin and to like, hold, boom. you begin to like mold the dirt in like the, the actual very little nature that is around here. And because you've been living in sort of like an urban, you've been living in an urban area, this is your nature. This is what you're able to do. And you just be, yeah, you make a small little, a small little like figurine of, of, of garbage and trash, probably no more bigger than your your ankle. Like right, it goes probably actually because you're small, it probably goes right up to your knee, and it does a little wow. two step. That's <laughs> wacky. Hey, glad you like it, toots. And it's like kind of doing What's a little a toots? two step. You a toots? She a toots? He a toots? He a toots? You a toots? She a toots? Toots. It's like a. It's like an. It's like a mid city thing. Hey, I have two questions, uh, guy, fellow. Uh, are there like, are there like more of you? Are there are other people that are just gonna be blowing up in the city, or what? I don't know. Okay. All uh, I know is that... follow up. Yes. What are you doing here? I don't know. You don't have. Any I was goals? born ten no minutes and eleven no seconds ago. I don't think he no knows anything instincts. past ten minutes. You're just like hollow in there. I was born and 10 gonna minutes and 15 seconds. She's going to try to stick her hand in his head. <laughs> how, how long does my little like, stick figure guy, like, how long does that go work for? Does it like disappear after 10 seconds? How long does it go? Oh, your little, your little dance thing? Yeah. Uh, I would say probably, it would probably just last uh, just like a, a few seconds before it just kind of like, it just kind of collapses in, uh, on itself. Okay, so while Talon's like naming every minute he's alive, and we've got like everyone else asking him questions. I'm like sitting with my feet open, watching this little dude waving my hand around up at Talon, like kind of wiggling while everyone's yelling at each other. Zug steps forward. You say that grab out. him by coat collar. <laughs> wow, you're very strong. So you're telling me you know nothing? Yes. I shake him around a little bit back and forth. Nothing at all. I really don't know nothing at all. My predecessor may have known something, well, but I don't dead. remember anything they remembered. 
damn it. As this argument You're continues. You're useless. You hear the sound of a of the familiar sound of a window frame breaking. As a person tumbles out, burned and scarred and barely crushed. She manages to squeeze on out. Let me go ahead and do a thing. So you guys can see how many hit points she has, Mo. Not that many. Dang, she's, she's fine. She's not <laughs> that many. She's, she's not that great. fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> As this woman looks around, coughing and echoing through the area, you, you see through the dents of the smoke, she begins to look around and she screams help somebody help me i will try to like you know sort of use this jelly man that i have still gripped by his jacket you know front collar or whatever and use him as leverage to throw him behind me and and run towards the person and this is begin- fun where are we going as you throw the gelatinous man over your shoulder and begin to go over for help, you will see her go, by the gods. She goes, by the gods, thank you. And uh, she points over and she's like, please help. As her, I'm cry, coming. as her cry for help is halted by the sound of a gunshot. <laughs> oh. Oh my god! Oh, so, like rolls into a ball and like puts the shield on top of him like a turtle. As you would then see, two of what appears to be Clayberry's prots, which are which is this world's equivalents of. Um, of, of cops, essentially, walk up. This one placing a gun back into her holster. It's okay. Her successor will emerge out of her body any moment. <laughs> Shut up! Uh, what the hell? Killing witnesses, we have to go now! As you walk What's up... What's your problem? Zug, so, wait! Are you screaming going up to her? Yeah, I've, um, I've stopped they both... running and I'm just angry walking and pointing and yelling. All right, as you do that, they will point. This one will point over and he will simply say, more witnesses. We have to take care of everyone. Oh, uh, um, I don't uh, know what kind of role I do. Run me through it, but I want yeah. Bo to like run forward um, in front of Zug and try to protect him. Well, Aww. we're going to see that in action with some combat, baby. Oh, First God. combat. Two health right now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Half of you are already dead. I'm fucked. DM wins. <laughs> oh, God. So, this is how this is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and start a brand new encounter. Select your token. And when you select your token, the same thing you've been rolling skills, go mouse over utility, and then press the roll initiative button. You'll see I'm now rolling initiative for the Clayberry Prots. Oh, Zog. <laughs> Hello. Oh I, no. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know what you guys were going to be doing. If you were going to uh, run or be like, "Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna beat you up." So we'll. Uh, well. It wasn't yeah. gonna be. It was gonna be a confrontation of words, but it wasn't gonna be. I'm gonna kick your ass. But you know, well, here we are. Well, they are definitely in the ass kicking mood currently. Yeah. So, all right then. Well, I guess we are going to begin some combat at level one after a building has exploded. So uh, this is going to be fun. Hope nobody dies, but we'll see. Smile. Magic dying, <laughs> dude. All right, let me see if I can. Damn, they're far away. All right, before we begin, let's go ahead and take a two minute break. Let you guys get some water, stretch your legs. Maybe yeah. comprehend what the fuck is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, comprehend right. what the fuck's happening. You know, you're more to write a new character. 
Yeah, write up a new Dude, character. Dude, Tobedo, you know? what the <laughs> fuck? I love your character. <laughs> <laughs> he seems nice. He seems sweet. I like him. Mm -hmm. Brett, don't you think this is a bit much? Oh, I apologize. You can <laughs> run your own game if you don't like it. <laughs> that's a real co Wait, that's a real I thought you just made that up. No. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Dude, this this story is a little too good. Um, oh, thank you. Know, you. This yeah, is, you know, this is, sorry, man. This is a little bit much. You know, yeah, we should have much. had a standard tavern Just tone opening. It, tone it down a little bit. A much, yeah. A little much, bro. <laughs> you, are, are, uh, oh, God, I gotta run the ads. Are you guys uh, enjoying yourself so far? I'm having a yes. great time, personally. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, man. I love this group. Shit. Sweats. <laughs> Brett, you gotta cool it. You got it. <laughs> Me and Blobman are not gonna get along well. Until I'm not. I don't no. like. I don't like Lawman. I, I was, don't like Tomato. I was. <laughs> I, I this was, stretches outside of the RP. <laughs> I, I was. I was very excited to because because Tomato specifically said I'm in hard mode. Do whatever you want to me, and I was like, I'm gonna blow him up. I'm gonna fucking blow him up. <laughs> Jesus I'm gonna, I'm gonna... You know that when you like when we were talking about some of yeah. this stuff like beforehand, I was not when you said you're gonna make something that makes me switch to the right character, yeah. I was like I was not expecting bomb. That is fucking <laughs> hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> I was and I specifically told Tomato, I said he I was like You'll know what it happens. <laughs> like <you'll, laughs> you do. I said you'll have zero doubt in your mind. You'll know when it happens. They'll you'll, you'll know. And, and yeah, you blowing up at that point was there. Was what it was like. Yep, that's it. <laughs> oh that's God. the one. Woo! Yeah, it's a. Uh, this is a, this is a vibe. This is a good. Man, vibe. I wasn't planning on kicking off the campaign by murdering some police officers, but this is just how it's gonna be, I think. Yeah, that's. Welcome. I love it. This is great. <laughs> well, welcome to Clayberry. Yeah, exactly. Okay, the thirty seconds. Let everyone get their leg stretchies in. Let the ads wrap up. Mm, these ads are so chewy. Thanks, chat. I know you can't hear what I'm saying because you're stuck in ad town. So I'm literally talking to a wall. You know that gif when you're just like... <laughs> yeah, don't know wall. Yeah, talking to the wall right there, and you're just like... Mm, mm, mm. I can hear. I heard it. I didn't get added, Brett. Ha. Okay. So, these Weirdest guys... Humble these, brag. Yeah. These fellas, are they... There's, they said, you know, no witnesses. There's another one. Are they like reaching for their gun and coming oh, towards yeah. me? Or, oh, okay, no, no, okay. no. One of them was about, was yeah. literally holstering their gun. You went, hey, what's going on? And then that, that one pointed <laughs> and they are pulling out their weapons and they look like they're about to shoot you dead. Oh, shit. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Brett, uh, do you yes. have any specific like non-lethal damage rules? Uh, Yeah, you just go, I'm dealing non-lethal damage. And I go, okay. Okay. That okay. is very that well. Is, that is tomato be level two for all the people he has murdered. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question. <laughs> like, see you right now. Looks at that is a good question. <laughs> it's like well, an XP farm in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many more buildings do I have to blow up to get the level two? <laughs> uh, we gotta go back in and club everyone just to make sure. Yeah, everyone's just slowly dying. Yeah, exactly it. All right. Well, let's fucking go. Let's do it's it. Let's, it's time. Let's, uh, whew, we'll see what happens here. This is going to be a terrifying fucking fight. Okay. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's do it. This is a custom-made battle theme for Io. Ooh. Um, nice. All right. The prots immediately draw their guns. And we begin combat, baby. All right. Uh, this prot will, yeah. So immediately he, he's like, there's some more over there. No witnesses. And he, as he walks over, he pulls out his pistol and just shoots for Zug. Pew! Wait, 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 we didn't do, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Is this where we can decide to do stuff? Uh, on your turn. It is not your turn. Okay. Yet. I don't. I don't know, Terrence. I'm new to this. No, man. it's I'll all wait. good. I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm I'll, waiting no, for it. No, it's good. I will let you know when it's your turn and when you can act. All right. Does a, fi a five hit you? No. Probably not. Yeah. So the bullet. I'm just wearing goes, metal. <laughs> yeah. So it just zings off and then it just bounces right off your uh, your, your scrap armor. All right. That is that prot's turn. Drask, it is now your turn. Uh, I'm probably gonna duck behind the wall. Uh, is there a like a distance measuring tool? Oh, I guess it's the ruler. Yeah, I will uh, also make sure you guys have a grid. Um, actually, right before I dip through, there you go, to the corner. I'm gonna try to, at disadvantage, uh, throw a knife. Okay, who are you throwing that? Uh, the closest one, that's the only one I can reach at disadvantage. Okay. Uh, attack. Right. And then just hit the attack, yep. Oh, uh, with the eight. eight, yeah, you'll just kind of see him as he bows down, the shield that's on his shoulder will deflect the dagger as it falls on his feet. Okay, with that, I'll dip behind the wall. Okay. So, does that end your round? Yes. Okay. Now it is Bo's turn. So what you can uh, do uh, mm -hmm. in combat, you can move up to your movement speed, you can take an action, and you can take a bonus action. Okay, so, mildly don't know what any of that means, but I'm ready. Okay, so what I mean is, uh, if you look at your character sheet, you should see movement speed, correct? Like mm -hmm. movement or something like that? Yeah. Okay, that is how, that is, okay, it says zero feet. It's supposed to be 30, so. Yeah, I got so. it, it's fine. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll adjust that. So, uh, yeah, you can move up to 30 feet. Avery Square is a five-foot space. You can take okay. an attack. You can uh, take an action, which means, like, you can attack with your club, or you can cast a spell. And uh, there's bonus action as well. What would you like to do during your turn? And then we'll, uh, we'll take it step by step. Okay, I want to move as far as I can, and then at the end of that movement, whether I try to put myself in front of someone and just like put a shield up. Okay. So you're trying to provide a little bit of cover the best you can. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Uh, so yeah, you can move uh, every every movement that you do. So when you do this, that's five foot of movement. You can move up to 30 feet. Okay, and how do I do the ruler thing? Uh, so in the left corner, when you have your token selected, uh, the third button should be a, a ruler. A measure distance button. Okay. Do you see like the token control person? Yep, there it is. Okay. So it's 30 yep. feet for movement. Yep. And then I then, just do it automatically. Yep, you just move your 30 feet. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me just double check real quick. That looks like it was 35 feet, so you probably. Yep, right over there. Perfect. All right, so you're holding your shield up, and what? You're just like taunting, like, what are you doing? Uh, oh, yeah, well, do I, do I have any, I mean... Like I taunts? Know, do any, yeah, do I have any taunts? I want to just bring any anything that I can do to, like, get the attention to, so I can okay. help. Yeah, just start screaming and doing that. There's no system mechanic to it, but if you're trying to get their attention, you're more than free to do so. Okay. Uh, I put my shield up, and I yell... Hey, toots! That's, that's it. That's okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> All hey. right. So you hold up your shield. You scream, <laughs> hey, toots. And uh, yeah, you're trying to get their attention. All right. Uh, quote, unquote, Talon. It's no, no longer Talon, but uh, yeah, it's now your turn. Hey, gang. My fight or flight response is kicked in. <laughs> 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 And he's gonna look for a small crack in the wall. <laughs> okay. All right. But does he see any cracks in the wall to hide? I him? mean, yes. The walls itself is blasted, so you're absolutely able to squeeze through. Do you have any more movement left? Uh, I believe he has one more five foot of movement. Uh, you would squeeze back into the bar as nice. a scorching fire is right next to you. <laughs> oh dang. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to do? <laughs> That's it for me. Brett, was uh, I at one HP before? Cause uh, my HP reset by accident. Uh, you were at, at two. I think I, I think I might have been at one. I think I rolled an eight. Let me double check real quick. 
Uh, three, nine, twelve, three. Uh, yes. Yeah, no, you're at two. You're good. Okay, awesome. All right. I believe that's what it is. Okay, Doki. Uh, Felsic. Hey, uh, I am going to use uh, my full turn to sprint 60 feet. Oops, that is the wrong button right here. Also, uh, is there any way to make rulers invisible to other people? Because I have a really bad habit of fucking with rulers no, like on other too. people's combat turns. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I genuinely have no idea, but at the same time, okay, I don't- Okay, that's fine, that's I fine. I'll just try not to. <laughs> I don't. Well, I also don't think anyone cares. Like, we get it, you're, you're planning your Okay, move, I'm so. just, I'm like, I'm like super compulsive about it. Anyways. No, no, it's all good. It's all, all good. good. Everyone does it, so you're fine. Oh boy. All right. Uh, let's see. One, two. Okay, she pulls out her gun. Um, you're screaming. Hey, hey, Toots. Hey. Uh, you better so, not. Yeah. So I'm gonna roll a one d twenty and uh, fifteen or higher. She attacks the little rackling. Uh, 14 and lower, she attacks the orc. Well, <laughs> so this, this, this prod, for some reason, hates racklings Ooh. and goes little rat and then phew, it goes ahead and fires a shot. Oh my God. No. I ain't no rat. Wait, no. no. Mm -hmm. Yep. You're, you're good. You're good. I'll tell you what's going on. Uh, so uh, that's a four. What is your armor class? If you look at your token. Uh, token. And I click them. Um, Double click whoa. for your character sheet. You'll see armor class in the uh, like upper middle area. Uh, I see like strength, dexterity, constitution. Is yep, that where that's I'm That's over in the left. Look at the top of the character sheet kind of in the center. Uh, You'll see hit points, hit dice, armor class, movement, and initiative. My eyes are small and I'm old. Hold on. No worries. Uh, I will go ahead and make a screenshot and then I will ha I will highlight what you're looking for. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I see armor class. There you it. go. 14. Okay. Uh, since I rolled a four, uh, that does not beat your armor class, which means the attack misses. <laughs> As you'll see, uh, we uh, you'll just kind of see like the the pistol like it just bounces off the the buckler at that point, Ding! and then it just yeah, and that's the end of that. Zug. Uh, he was still standing there like hands up after the first shot, but after the second shot, he's like, okay, these guys are set on this, and uh, he's gonna move. One, one, two, two, three, okay. and then he's gonna like he's gonna dash over here and like jump into the scrap pile, and <laughs> with a combination of his own scrap that he keeps on him in his pouch and stuff he just finds on the floor, uh, he grabs a pipe and two sections of pipe and snaps them together, twists them, locks them that locks them in, grabs an old broom handle, sticks it up in there, puts some more whirly gigs and and things on there. And you, you know, it, it's got, looks sort of like a gun, sort yeah. of. <laughs> <laughs> and then he oh. grabs a bunch of small bolts and trash and other random metal bits and clogs it down the pipe and then aims it at the enemy. And somehow <laughs> it, it, there's like a faint magical energy that hums from his fingers into this piece of garbage. And then he aims it and goes, Die! And it actually fires, but immediately explodes this thing he created in his hands into like oh, man. A, a beautiful confetti of trash. But <laughs> something actually shot out. Okay. And that is all flavor text for a catapult. Yeah, let's go. That's awesome. Let's go. All right, gotta make a saving throw. Dexterity. Uh, Yes. Just <gasps> missing. Yo. As literally this big junk orb just slaps out, shooting her right in the head. You see her head twist 180 oh. as her body just falls <laughs> limp. Oh my gosh. 
time. That was incredible. <laughs> Fucking oh obliterated them. Damn. Whoa. I okay. start reaching for another pipe and say, don't make me do this. <laughs> uh, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna make a wisdom saving throw. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he begins to turn tail and run. Nice. Uh, now frightened, uh, you will see. Uh, trying to. There we go. <laughs> uh. Felsic, don't let him get away. <laughs> He's double moving away. I can only go so fast. God damn. All right. Jurassic, are you doing anything? Yeah, because I don't know anything that's happened around this corner so far. So I see Zug laughing, almost successful. I'll say, did you hit it? Of course, it worked. I can't let you have all the fun. I psych myself up. I straighten my broken fingers and I jump around the corner and uh, no one's there. <laughs> They went around the side! And I'm like pointing and showing. Damn it. Uh, I'll move as far as I can. Let me see. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> God. Yeah. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to cautiously take the dodge action and use my Bloodbath Orc uh, passive to roll a hit die and get health back. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and throw that there. <laughs> Just, you know. All right, how many hit points do you gain back? Uh, it'll be a 1d8. Can I do custom rolls? Uh, yeah, slash roll space 1d8. Okay. Uh, plus two. All right. I'll get three health back. Three health back. All right. Uh, Bo, you just had the bullet bounce off of you, and as you look over your shield, uh, one of the prots is dead and the other one bolted. What would you like to do during your turn? Oh, uh, ooh, let's see. Oh, uh, I want to like, like throw my shield on the ground and jump in the air and, and sit right on top of it and slide <laughs> as far as I can go. Okay, that'll be <laughs> 30 feet. You could also spend an action to move again. Oh, but then you okay, can't do yeah, anything wait. else. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so if I do this, how can I, like Felsic did, move automatically after I set how much I go? I, I, I think... I, 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 I didn't... I, yeah, she just moved oh. manually. She I just, did, Yeah, I didn't do anything automatically. Go, I just hovered my cursor over where I thought the ruler landed. <laughs> you just moved so fast. You know what I mean? It was like... Pew. Yeah, I'm, I'm speedy. All right, you I'm moved, a... I believe, 35 feet. Would you like to move anymore? Mm -hmm. How come I always look like it looks okay? Uh, yeah, if I if so, is that like a my ability or how come I can go one that, more time? Uh, uh, that you can is use a your action to dash. Yeah, so it's a, it's called the dash action, and just you're mm -hmm. you're spending your full round just bolting and running as fast as you can. Okay, and is it still another thirty or is it just like half? Another or? thirty. It's another thirty. Thirty. Yep. Okay, so I'm still like spinning and spinning and spinning on my shield, and my body is spinning. And I'm flailing around. And I, I, I land like right next to the dead body because at some point I, I want to like inspect to see if there's any cool stuff. Okay, you'll have to do that next round then. That ends your round then. So yeah, you're like, it's time. And you go over and you begin to, start to, to just scurry and begin to look mm -hmm. around to see what she has. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, unknown, <laughs> unknown slime. You have squeezed through the cracks and now in the back of this area where sharded glass and a fire is blazing. Slime's gonna move up here. Okay. You once again squeeze through the, the cracks and you manage to get over to where the kitchen is. And I'm going to roll a uh, D2. Okay. And on a one, he's gonna look for a weapon to help everyone outside. And on a two, he's just gonna look for food. Okay, sounds good. He's dead. The, the slime starts looking for food in the fridge. Uh, he opens, opens the fridge. Uh, he, <laughs> he, start, he, starts, wow. he starts following his base animal instincts instead of the combat instincts and just starts grabbing food to survive during the and, chaos. And you consume you consume meat, healing yourself for a hit point. Nice. 
as you find more matter to assemble the slime. All right. Felsic. Uh, Felsic is gonna sprint her full 60 feet up to here. Hey, wait, stop. Oh, we he's just bolting. Talk. He looks over no. and he's just running. <laughs> no, we just wanna talk. That's all she can do. Okay. Zug. You begin hearing as he's running. There's more people over here. Uh oh. Hey, come up to dress. We should get out of here. Especially if there's more. Yeah. We should take, get the others. Hey, Bo. Get Felsic. We have to leave. Huh? What? You literally, you literally see Bo like like rummaging through through her wares. What? <laughs> like she like turns around, or is he turns just around? Just grab the gun and go! Come on! Oh. Okay. All right. Wait, I just okay. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I, I got your turn. Yeah. <laughs> just ignore my little like because it's like I'm thinking out loud and it just oh, comes out. Okay. Just cool. Cool. Me. <laughs> cool. Okay. We'll do. Uh, so Zug, what do you do? You're just yelling at everyone to go. Uh, Felsic, do you do the same? Yeah, yeah, she falls back. All right, everyone's falling back. Mm -hmm. All right. At that point, we will end the combat encounter with the conclusion that everyone is currently disengaging and they're running. Not everyone. Not everyone. <laughs> As you as you guys are leaving, you see the slime through like the broken edge of this wall is just like eating all the meat <laughs> that's in the that's in the fridge. Uh, can I can I do anything with this body? Like I wanna I wanna oh, look yeah, at yeah, it. I wanna, yeah. Oh I yeah. Pockets. Yeah. So as you kind of like rummage through the prot, uh, the prot, the, you know what the prot has. Uh, a couple of things of note. All right. You find, Bo, which I'm now going to add to your inventory. Oh. You little rapscallion, you. Oh. A, a shard pistol, which has four shots remaining. Hey. A day stick, which is like a little, like little shocker stick. Hey. And one cartridge. E. E. <laughs> These are all custom weapons for this world as well. Uh, fair warning, because you're so thrifty. Uh, these are prot issued weapons, which means if you are caught using it and people identify it, it is considered contraband and highly illegal. Okay, you got just, it. Just FYI. <laughs> Hot right. items, yep. I'm gonna like shove it straight in some, one in my pants and mm -hmm. like with the rest in my bag. Okay. Quickly. Okay. Come on, this way. <laughs> Begin to leave the area. As yeah. you run by, you once again, like I said, see the slime creature consuming everything. I'm gonna say, slime out, follow. Huh? We have What's food going on? They're dead. We gotta go. They died. Hey, buddy, you know that fight or flight thing you were talking about? This is where we uh, fly. Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> He's just gonna start trying to squeeze through the wall again. You, you literally see this body just force, oh God, just squeeze itself through the wall, forcing. <sighs> Can I? Right. Yes. Can I like? climb up his coat again and sit on his shoulders because I can clearly tell he's been eating something and I just want to just want to sit there as long as he allows it yes if you try to sit on him he's going to basically just squish down into a flat surface <laughs> yeah that's fine I, 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 I he's so Bo doesn't know that yet so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to <laughs> scurry up there because I, I smell that you found some food and I just want to get at it you know Bo scurries up uh the slime and the slime just immediately like it just splats right on the floor. Oh! And I'm now on my butt. 
We don't have time for this. Brett, which way is uh, something we'd consider safe? Either a hideout or my shack or... Would you we... take them to your shack? Yeah. I would I would be heading there and, you know, they're coming to... We're all okay. hiding from the cops together, you know? All right. We all shot you this cop, snacks. right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you begin to leave the area of the old, uh, of the old kobold. Uh, where you then head over to a secret location that Zug and his brother knows about. It is essentially a base of operations where Zug has been working on a little special project while you all retreat into hiding. And that is where we will wrap up today's session of Pipe Dreamers. I want more. (laughs) <laughs> Me too. I didn't know how. That was awesome. Yay! You guys did great. That was a really good first session. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. I love D and D. Three different turns. Yeah. Hey, Brett. Do I have the new highest record for all, most damage dealt in a single turn? Uh, <laughs> I didn't, well, I didn't. I didn't roll anything, so now I'm. I'm afraid not. And even and I didn't eat. see model blow up a building, dude. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. And I was Year, there. Years later, tomatoes like just constantly trying to get this record. I didn't. I are, didn't. Are see we it. gonna have to blow up some buildings this campaign? <laughs> We're I'm little down. domestic terrorists, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, I, I was like, I mean, it's up, it's up to you guys, but I would recommend it. Uh, but but uh, but yeah, that is the. I didn't know how long you guys were gonna be going for, so I kept it. Purposely short for a nice little introduction of a first session to meet characters. And yeah, holy shit. That is, uh, that was really good. That was really good work, guys. I, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. No, no, you go for it. No, you go for it. Um, I was just going to say that uh, I, don't, I don't think I, I know the group knows, but the audience, I, I have not done anything D&D like for like, uh, I don't know, like eight years or something. So I'm, I'm a baby, but everyone else has played in this group D&D. Uh, well and truly vets here so just just be a little easy on me okay guys help help i mean we appreciate help. you don't worry we about teach that. you all yeah, you need yeah, yeah we'll teach you and also chat will look, look i just had a, a random viewer try and correct my dm style to be like i think you're going a little hard man so like <laughs> don't don't listen to chat don't no listen way. to chat that- that oh. still that's gotta be like one of the funniest fucking <laughs> I've ever seen. How fucking ridiculous is that? Yeah. Uh, dude, this is a little bit like, dude, I don't know. This is kinda cool, but uh, I don't know if they can handle cool. Yeah, dude, it's a little it's hard. hard. <laughs> yeah, we definitely we, we definitely uh, that was definitely a, a, a more difficult session one. Uh so you guys did Dude, uh, I'm here for it. I love yeah. difficult yeah. session one. Just give us give us the good stuff, man. Like really wasn't just, just... lying. I told him I wanted to play on maximum omega hard mode. Yeah. And that good. probably means the whole campaign has to deal with maximum omega hard mode. <laughs> just, we can take it, dude. I, this I, will I, be the I group kind of volunteered all of all, 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 all I'm all I'm saying is, you know, no one else had a bomb in their chest. So it's uh, you know, <laughs> the tomato got his difficulty, everyone else survived. Tomato blew up. <laughs> and it's all right. It's all good. Uh, my favorite part about this is Tomato's character still, we don't have a name. So question mark, question mark, question mark will remain in the Discord reaction until a name is, is found. Yeah, exactly. It seems like he doesn't have a name. I yeah. think we're going to name this boy. And my I'm going to give yeah. you a shit name, Tomato. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see if yeah. you can live with yourself after that. Because <laughs> yeah. you're, you're going to have to live with shit name many, for years. How many, people, how many yeah. people died in the explosion? <laughs> like a, a like an exact there. number. I need an exact lot. number. An exact number? I, I, yeah. I, no, I can, get, I can get you an exact number. Hold on. What like thirteen? You get you want an exact number? I'll give you an exact. Yes. You want it? You want to get dark? Yes. We'll get dark. Yes. Uh, let's see what we got here. Exact. Loading in. All right. God, that catapult, dude. Jesus Christ. That was great, dude. I saw nineteen damage and went <laughs> motherfucker. I, I shit my pants at nineteen. You rolled an eight, a seven, and a four. God damn. Yeah, that was good. Um. All right. Taking a little peek over here. Let's see what we got. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven people dead. 
Okay, cool. We named him Seven as a reminder of what he did. <laughs> was it My him? God. You're being You're being illogical. unfair. You're being yeah. unfair. Technically <laughs> no. eight. Actually, it's eight. I'm feeling very mean. It's eight because technically uh, Talon is also dead. The predecessor. Oh, okay. Mm, okay, okay. So eight. The predecessor well, that's, is That's dead. not a good name anymore. No, eight's like good because he also eats a lot. Yeah. <laughs> he eats, yeah, eight. <laughs> Just, just name him yeah. Meat Sack, you know, and we'll call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> um, like Goop. Goop. Goopy. Goop. Goop. Hey, Goop. Hey, you guys want to see some fan art? Oh. Yes. Yeah. What? Wait. Already? Wait, fan art? Yeah, that's right. We got fan art, guys. It's pretty awesome. And it's we only what? two hour session, so, uh, you know, the poor fan artists are sweaty right now. Because they thought they had another hour, and I said, "Ha ha, no!" And then now they're now they now they said, "Uh, where the heck? Oh, here we go." How long are sessions usually? Uh, I usually three hours more like three. Three hours is the okay. limit, but sometimes they're between two and three hours. I'm pretty happy with the session at that point. Sometimes it's shorter, sometimes it's longer. You know, but three hours is the is the cap. Uh, let's go ahead. I I think I've screen shared, correct? Yes, I've screen shared. Uh, this was the art that Joe, comma, uh, did for Drask. Mm, so good. So it I mean, looks look really that. awesome, man. Look at God. That. Look at the yes, fuck. That's look my at that brother. Sculpted <laughs> body. <laughs> yeah, look at the details, dude. It is pretty sick. Uh, Dyer coming in with uh, what this good boy. <gasps> <laughs> It's <laughs> so cute. Oh my god. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and so if you, hungry. And if you thought you were going to see no more eating, well, guess what? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at it all. Now, Judy, we have our first banner ticket. <laughs> Now, now I'm that so that's an emote. That's an emote. Right yeah, <laughs> it is. That's so good. Look at Very it. good. Uh, Mariah uh, went ahead and made the Goopy Boy. So mm. thank you again to Mariah <laughs> Art. He looks great, dude. I love that's his so colors. Uh, what Mariah race is this? Pretty. I want to eat him. Yeah, man. Ugh. I'm just He's gonna... great. Oh my God! More, more fan art came in. I'm just gonna go and just drop this in and just very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's as good as the other one. That was pretty good. <laughs> which, yeah. which, which one? It. Which one? I which can't one do you tell. like more? I can't tell. <laughs> um, <laughs> dude, uh, a lot of people getting the fan art uh, role over on our Discord. Can we? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Cute. Uh, new fan artist, uh, Zach, uh, uh, oh my god, I'm so sorry, uh, uh, Zachary Ribbit, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, enjoy that fan art role, my dude, um, hey, this is fine, don't worry about it, it's all good, <laughs> <We're gonna> be... <laughs> this is fine, <laughs> oh my god, it's Perfect, love it. Mwah. Um, mwah. It's so good. Uh, Swift shot. Is this normal? <laughs> <laughs> the interaction with that was perfect. I love that tomato. Hell yeah. I'm I'm glad someone actually let me do the nose thing because I was going to keep him unable to speak until someone did. Until. <laughs> oh. I read your mind, man. This I did is, not want that. This is some good shit. Uh, Put it on the edge. Oh my god, I love <gasps> it. Oh my! Okay, I can already see the, the friendship developing, man. Yeah. I, I, this it's is good. great. It's good. I'm so stoked. Good, good stuff, Zach. Uh, also, uh, Zach worked on a fucking. <gasps> Holy hell! Whoa. Zachary said, "Rush to get this oh out as well, Lamau, my dude." Damn. Whoa! Adding Lobby to the boy. adding to our wonderful fan artist pool. Thank you so much for that. <gasps> Yo, oh my God. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry to laugh. I'm sorry. To laugh. Good. This is funny, right? Perfect. Yes. Right. This is funny. Because exactly I, I, I laughed. I laughed, and I felt bad about it immediately. 
That is That's exactly fucking hilarious. What oh my God. God. Hey, Brett, I actually have a question. If yeah. I hadn't rolled a nat one and like fucking full face planted on the way out the door, would that would it have gone off as soon as it did? Like, in the oh tavern? no, 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 that you you were you were it's you were just diving with a bomb in your chest. That's all that was happening there. <laughs> You were you were the you were the, the the call to action of the hero's journey. Tomato blows up, and now Beautiful. the group is together. <laughs> yep. Episode one. Tomato blows up. Yeah. Point <laughs> zero 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 one seconds after disaster. <laughs> oh my god. Exactly. That's exactly. Oh my god. I love that. The, he's just super smiley. Like, hey, we can make this work, buddy. <laughs> We just gotta put you back together, buddy. What? What? What an insane session one! Jesus Christ, that was very, that was really cool. I liked that. Yep. I'm, I'm very excited for this group. That was an awesome, awesome session one. Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys did amazing. And also, big shout out to all the fan artists for really bringing it to life. That is fucking incredible. Thank you guys. Yeah, yep. thanks guys. It was awesome. All right, we will be back next Thursday, 8 p.m. EST with Pipe Dreamers Session 2, where we get to see where the other side lives. The other side being Zug, and you're all on that side. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys again so much for playing. Yeah, thanks, guys. All right, see you yeah. next week. All right, Bye. have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh, man. That was a lot of fun. Did you guys have fun? Was that enjoyable? Were you entertained? I thought that was pretty fucking sick. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is the first session of Pipe Dreamers. Nice little bite-sized session, but honestly, a lot of story, a lot of heart, and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. Uh, if you guys like to join our lovely little community, we've got a Discord channel. Discord.gg slash all that just random things. Just go ahead and click that. Join the World of IO Discord, a.k.a. the Ioverse Discord. We've got a uh, uh, spoilers channel, D&D rules channel. We've got the fan art channel, so you can see all the fan art that our fan artists have started at. And, uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really good. If you'd like to go ahead and financially support the Ioverse. We have a Patreon, patreoncom slash world of IO. Uh, this is where you get MP3s, the campaigns, uh, as well as uh, musical assets uh, that we are currently going to be releasing. We're going to be working on an a, uh, IO Phase Three album uh, that you guys are going to be able to listen to over on Spotify. But you'll get early access if you're on the Patreon, as well as loopable WAV files uh, for your own VTT purposes that you can use personally on your own that will not be released anywhere else. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, art progress, game master notes, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. So uh, it is uh, <clears throat> it is absolutely very good. So please consider supporting that because. All this cool shit that you guys are seeing, the art that you're seeing, the logo that you're seeing, all of that is funded by the Patreon. So consider supporting the Patreon today. If this is your first time watching an IO uh, campaign, welcome. We've got a YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com swirled of IO, where you can watch all of the IO sessions that have been online so far. We've just concluded with phase two. So if you're looking for a 300 plus, you know, D&D uh, extravaganza, you're free to do that. Um, but all the phase three stuff is will be uploaded there as well. Um, I believe Deadbeat session three will be uploaded on Saturday. Pipe Dreamer session one will be uploaded on Sunday. And uh, yeah, you can go ahead and catch up through there. And that's the best way to watch it. Uh, the ads are definitely a, a lot more in control uh, over at the YouTube side. So definitely go ahead and check it out. Uh, and then follow me on Twitter. If you have any art and you don't like to post on the Discord, we have Art of Io. We have a nice little Art of Io hashtag. Um, I'd like to make an actual fan art screen. You know what I mean? Uh, so that way you guys can do hashtag art of IO and have, uh, yeah. Make sure you at me as well. Cause I would love to retweet all that stuff out. Um, for any fan art you post on Twitter, I retweet it out so everyone can do that thing. Uh, I believe that's it. I think we're done. I think we are. I think we're, I think we're in. I think we're done. But thank you guys so much. Uh, really do appreciate y'all hanging out. 
And uh, that's that. Uh, I'll be off tomorrow, but I'll be back on Saturday. I'm going to be playing Elden Ring uh, with my lovely partner, Masayanella. We'll be playing at 2 p.m. EST, and I'd like to go pretty long that day. So uh, feel free to stop by. Uh, Masay, of course, a lovely individual because yeah, I'm biased. She's my partner. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, game we're gonna check out elden ring for the first time i'm very excited for it so stop come on back at 2 p.m est and have ourselves a good time uh, um i think i'm looking around and i'm seeing who's streaming i'll take you over to kraken i haven't rated kraken in a while you all know who kraken is right drop those brett you blankies over at kraken's end Get yourself nice and cozy and comfy. And hey, thank you to everyone who subscribed. You guys did incredible. Uh, uh, Merlicos for the 100 bits. Thousand Manx for the tier one sub to Copnor. Draco Rincewind with the 10 gifted subs. Tosk man, uh, Toskin the man with tier one sub for six months. Uh, I saw, I freaking saw uh, Twitching Pickle with like 40 gifted subs. Voice Box, tier one sub for 25 months. Changeling CDX for the tier two sub. Uh, Avis with a tier one sub, Glare Bear Glare with a tier one sub. Uh, lots of tier one subs. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I can't thank you all, but your support means the freaking world to me. So thank you so much. Uh, really do appreciate this love and support. And uh, yeah, go go give some give some wholesome love to, to Kraken. He's playing Elden Ring. I know. That's incredible. I'll see you all on Saturday for our Elden Ring stream. And have yourselves a wonderful day. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye!